Well, it's been more than 24 hours since the controversy of Supriya Shinead versus Kangana Ranaut broke out. Despite the fact that there has been strong defense of Supriya Shinead coming in from the Congress party, there has been no movement made either to fix the responsibility or to ensure that someone's heads roll. And more than that, no action to be taken against Supriya Shinead. The Congress messaging to BJP is very clear that we are not going to bend. We are not going to bow down. And the longer the Congress party takes to take action against Supriya the more emboldened does BJP get. But now what could be the political fallout on the ground? Let's talk about the Lok Sabha elections from Himachal Pradesh. Well, it's a Congress party in power in the state, so the Congress would legitimately think that it's going to be easy for them to win from the state. Well, some seats are considered to be BJP bastion, like that of Anurag Thakur. But Monday is where the eyes are all on. Kangana Ranaut has been fielded as a BJP's candidate from this one of the largest districts in Himachal Pradesh. It's certainly going to be a very interesting, explosive campaign, which is now going to be run by Kangana. But apart from playing the women card in Himachal Pradesh, the BJP will also play the card of a Himachali or a local having been targeted by an outsider which is perhaps what the Congress party understands. That's why you saw some very measured reaction coming in from the state Congress chief, Pratibha Singh, who's also a MP from Mandi for now. Also, the Himachal Pradesh chief minister, Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu, was also very guarded, saying that we always respect the women and the people of Himachal Pradesh. But now to the big question. Who really will be put up by the Congress against Kangana? Already, Pratibha Singh has made it very clear that she does not want to contest from there. In one of her sound bites earlier, she said that on the ground, the party workers are not very confident. Now, these are very strong, explosive and uh, embarrassing words coming in from someone who heads the party in the state. But everyone is aware of the fact that Pratibha Singh does not share a good equation with Sukhu and she's been very miffed about it. However, what top Congress sources are telling us is that the party is going to make yet another attempt to reach out to Pratibha Singh that she does contest from Mandi because that could be a formidable fight. The emotive car of the Rani could be played. But apart from that, who else is it could be a person who can be thought of to take on Kangra? Well, one name which is doing the rounds is of actor Yami Gautam, who recently acted in the movie 370, which is based on the revocation of Article 370 from Jammu and Kashmir. She's a local, she's from Bilaspur, and that is could be a multiple cards to be played by the Congress. One, an actor versus an actor, a Himachali versus another Himachali, and also to try and counter the narrative which the BJP is building up that the Congress party is anti-Himachal and also anti-women. However, sources are also saying that Yami Gautam may not agree to it. There may be reasons why she may not want to contest the elections on a Congress ticket from Monday. But then who else is the choice? Anyone else with a little low, low profile may not be able to become a match to Kangana who will of course now play that card. Mandi has always been the stronghold of the Congress party and therefore it's a huge challenge for Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu personally as a CM and as a politician and also for the Congress party to ensure that it wins from this important constituency.